Good morning, children. I hope you're well. For those of you who are back at school, I hope it's going well. I just hope that I pray God's grace upon you, and I ask you, please keep safe. And uh, this morning, I would like to share a very powerful story with you. This week, I've been reading through the scripture, and, and I was really struck by a very powerful chapter in the book of Revelation. Now, I've always wondered, how, what does God look like? Now, what happened was the apostle uh, John um, was on an island in Patmos, but the Holy Spirit came down upon him, and the Holy Spirit allowed him to see a great vision um, of a door, a door that he entered, and through this door, he could see the throne room of God, and on the throne, God was sitting, and he shows us a beautiful picture of, of, of God. Now, um, I found this very powerful. He, he saw um, three images. He, he saw um, because you see we believe in God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit and the first picture you saw was of God the Father and he saw him as this diamond can you see this diamond here? oops, my phone wants to show it I hope you can see it, it's not that clear but, but it, it's, it at least shows us something of a diamond now, what's so powerful about a diamond is that when light um, is absorbed by the, by the diamond um, it captures the light and it flashes it into a brilliant display of color. If you, if I had a diamond here today and I put it into the sunlight, it, it would display all these beautiful colors because it's, it's pure and it's beautiful. And the diamond describes God the Father who is perfect and who is um, strong and, and reliable. Um, a diamond is, is, the, this, the, is the hardest rock you can find. And, and this just tells us about how wonderful God is, that he's stable, that he's reliable, and that he is perfect. And he's always there for us. The second picture that, that um, the Apostle John saw in his vision was of Jesus. Now, um, Jesus was described as what we call a cornelian or sardis stone. Now, um, there is a picture um, I hope it also that you can see it. Um, all right, these are cornelian stones. Don't they look beautiful? They are, they are, um, they are red in color, and they glow, in and uh, they have this beautiful glow, which is beautiful, a uh, blood red stone. Can you see it? And why do you think John saw Jesus as a stone? Well. The red describes what Jesus has done for us on the cross of Calvary. He died for us, and through his blood we are cleansed and renewed. And so this morning I pray that you will experience God's grace, love, and renewal. And the third thing is he saw this picture of God, of God the Holy Spirit, and he saw him as um, an emerald. Now, an emerald is a very beautiful stone. Now, this one's been cut and been dressed, or they put fixed up. You can see it's green, beautiful green. And and why the color green? Well, green is growth, and green brings life. And, and, and what the Holy Spirit does, if we allow the Holy Spirit into our life, is that he brings growth, he brings life. He, he, just, wants to, he just wants to glow in our lives. Now, this is just a very beautiful picture of God because um, we see this white light, we see this red light, we see this green light, and it just tells us of who God is. God really just wants to shine through our life. God wants to be part of our life, and God wants to lead us. And so I pray that as we go into this week, that you will just experience God in a powerful and wonderful way, and that you will know that He is with you, that He is your strength, that He is your, he is your rock, and that He will never let you go. Let's pray together. Oh Lord, we just thank you for your love, grace, and power. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful picture of you. And I pray, Lord, that we may experience you in our lives in a very powerful and powerful way. I pray that you will bless the children, you will guide them, and that you will be with them in everything they do. May your love surround them, and may they know that you will never let them go. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Children, enjoy a great week, and may God's blessing be upon you. Amen.